This is the organic stream. Welcome. If you look at the history of civilization, there is a direct relationship between the decline of soil quality and the decline of those civilizations. All these things came from the earth. They need to go back to the earth. We're not just keeping this stuff out of the landfill. The attitude you have to take. Every single day, somebody knocks on your door and says, Can I have your way to do this? If you collect the same price alone, then you will have it. Hi there, and welcome to the Organic Stream Podcast Show. I'm your host, Deline Murphy, and we're taking a trip down under this week to talk about a new and exciting recycling program by the EPA, that's the Environmental Protection Agency, of New South Wales, Australia. The program, called the Industrial Ecology Business Support Network, aims to facilitate and encourage the reuse of industrial materials between medium to large businesses in order to recover recyclable material from the commercial sector. I want to briefly explain the term industrial ecology for those who might not be familiar. Industrial ecology is a term that describes the concept that man-made industry functions just like a natural ecosystem, where the waste produced by one process can be used as an input for another process, just as in nature. And the programme, which is now in its first year, supports and awards grants to organisations and businesses along with a chosen facilitator to find opportunities in their regions and to organize meetings and cooperations between businesses. It's a very interesting program and with us today is Phil Molyneux of the EPA in New South Wales who will be telling us more about the program and how it operates, what it will do for businesses and how it may be replicated in other countries. And before we start, I'd like to mention now a few more events that are on our radar. November will see three great zero waste events taking place and we are very proud to be a media partner at each of them. The first is the Joinville Zero Waste Week in Joinville City, Brazil. The week, which starts on the 1st of November, will see over 40 events throughout the city related to zero waste, including art exhibitions, lectures, technical visits, and it closes with a community picnic in the heart of the city. And as part of this week, and as the second event on our radar, is the National Zero Waste Youth Congress in Brazil, organized by the Zero Waste Youth Brazil movement between the 7th and 9th of November in Joinville. The event sees national and international specialists share their knowledge and aims to expand the youth movement in Brazil. So for more information on each of these events, check out the link on our site or in the description below. And for the final event, I'd like to mention the International Zero Waste Youth Congress in Puerto Rico on the 17th and 18th of November. This event invites young people from all over the world to attend and is a place to share ideas, organize and discuss the future of the zero waste movement. For those who are interested in attending and taking part, you can also check the link in the description. And now, just before we start, I'd like to thank Resource Recovery Australia for making this episode possible. Resource Recovery Australia is a national profit for purpose business providing coaching, consultancy and operational waste services based on their award winning social enterprise model. They work with councils, communities and businesses to maximize the economic, social and environmental outcomes from resource recovery. For more information, visit www.resourcerecovery.org.au. And now, on to the interview. That was a sample of the Organic Stream episode by compostory.org. To listen to the full episode for free on our website, click on the link in the description below.